So that's the zoomies. Look at that view. This view ain't so bad either. Let me tell you something. The Butch Cassidy Best Western Inn and Suites in Beaver, Utah is Mr. Prada approved. You heard it here first. I had the best night's sleep, ice cold AC, two beds, quiet, and so clean. And breakfast right now. I don't know if breakfast is still open, but I'm gonna go look. Even though I'm not a continental breakfast, I'm not a free breakfast girly. I'd rather just get a little Starbucks, but like, look how cute the view is. Look at it. And there's a car for sale across the street, which has my name on it. Gorgeous. For what, 120 bucks? Chef's kiss. I used to stay at places like this and like Red Roof Inn, Best Westerns. When I was a kid, my mom and I would go on road trips and I thought it was the most luxurious, glamorous place. I'm like, we have our own hotel, our breakfast in the morning. And it brings me back those fond memories. I've always kept that humble side of me, always. Cause I love it, I love it. A pool, it's fabulous. You have to be able to enjoy the luxuries in life and also enjoy the normal stuff too. Cause if you don't, you get lost and then you become an asshole. Okay, I missed breakfast. It was only served till 9.30 and I'm there at like 9.45 and the doors were locked. But I love the Best Western, Butch Cassidy. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that woman is, but we love. It was fabulous. Anyways, I'm at Starbucks and I got a fall drink. The fall menu, I believe hit today. I didn't even know. But I got a iced apple crisp latte with oat milk. They had something similar on the menu a few years ago, but it had way too much syrup in it. This has like a brown sugar base, so let's see what she gives for a sip. <laughs> this ain't shit. This is a waste of my time. I get the apple crisp in there, but just tastes like a brown sugar shake and espresso, honestly. And then I got the egg bites, the kale mushroom egg bites. Fabulous. Let's get on the road. I need to get to Montana. Um, I'm not ready for pumpkin yet though, so that's why I want to ease my way in with the Apple products. I'm kind of into it. It has like a light flare, but it's also 80 degrees outside, so maybe we'll get pumpkin later this week. We'll see. I've made it. I got to Montana safely. Well, kind of safely. I kind of got into a car accident. We'll discuss later. I'm fine. It's gonna be fine, it is what it is. We'll talk about it later. I don't have the energy and it's dark out and I wanna show you guys during the light. But Wolfie's here, hi Wolfie. Storm's under the bed, as per usual. I just made my bed here in Montana. Happy to be here, buddy, you just had dinner. But yeah, I'm here, the road was fine. Honestly, it really wasn't that bad of a drive, but I just honestly jetted here. There wasn't anything super interesting, but I'm excited to show you guys around Montana and my adventures for the rest of the week here. My friend actually flies in tonight. It's 11. She flies in in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go pick her up from the airport, so I'll see you guys at the airport. I'm listening to my friend's podcast. Well, not my friend. My friend in my head. It is called the I've Had It podcast. It's fabulous. I'll link them down below. They're two fabulous women. They're like my aunts in my head. They're great. They fry the small fish and that's what I'm all about as Delta work would say. But you know what I've had it? I've had it with people being late when you are picking them up from the airport. I've had it. You know what time you're landing. Just send me a text. It's not her fault, but she's a little late. I'm actually, I feel like picking up people from the airport is what you do only if you genuinely love someone. I've had it, right? Am I alone? I don't think I'm alone. I'll call you an Uber. I'll call you a car, but I'm not coming to the airport if I don't love you, period. But thankfully this airport's really small and it's only like 15 <laughs> The podcast just started playing. Dude, that's a novelist. They're <laughs> laughing at me. Anyways, we're close to home, so hopefully she gets here in the next couple minutes because it is 12.56 in the morning and she was supposed to land at 12. I had it. Also, Ariana dropped the 10 year anniversary of yours truly with a bunch of live recordings from London. And it's so good, you guys. I don't want to get a copyright strike, but this album means so much to me. When it came out, I was 20, I had just moved to LA for the summer interning before I had moved there full time. And I was just like, so enamored and so in love and so like bright eyed. I still am just in a different way. And it's full of bops, it's so good. I love it, it brings me back. Oh, that's not, Never mind. <laughs> that is not her. There she is. 
Girly. <laughs> you remember me Do you now? remember Auntie oh. Jo- <laughs> She got in your genitals. <gasps> Oh, oh. oh. Remember. Remember. Rot mouth. Rot mouth. <laughs> so it's the next day, and you can see what happened. Look at this. A dent. I've never. It took off my front license plate, broke the headlight right here. Look at this. So essentially, I was driving, the sun was in my eyes like crazy, was not on my phone for the first time ever. And I hit this cone because they were making, they were paving the lanes and they have those big, like hard plastic cones that are like four feet tall. And I hit it head on going 70 miles per hour. I swerved out of the way. It hit the headlight a little bit, took off my license plate at the scene of the crime. Thankfully, it's not too bad. It's just very unfortunate because I know this is gonna cost me like two grand to fix on my car. Such. A headache. Watch where you're going, have your sunglasses on, be safe. Don't be like me, an idiot. It's the next day, I'm taking the boys. Oh, there they go, we're going on a hike. Storm, Stormy, run. We just had a very chill day. What did we do today? Nothing. Shopped. Shopped, walked around town, I slept. What time did we sleep in until? Only until like eight. Yeah. 8.30, yeah, but that's sleeping in to me. Nine, yeah, we tinkered around. We tinkered, but it was really nice. I caught up on my sleep. Now we're on a hike. You excited? Girl. Boys, they have been whining and crying the past hour. Wolfie. Look how gorgeous that sunset is. Storm, get out of the reeds. And there's Wolf. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, it's the next night. I feel, I always keep things 100% with you guys. You know, I may not share every single detail that's personal, but I feel like the community that I've built here with you guys and being able to speak super candidly is very important to me. So honestly, like, I, I want to be open with you guys. I actually got into a bit of an argument last night with my friend. It was nothing deep and nothing serious, but it was an argument on the last that lasted maybe like two minutes. It was last night and this morning I wanted to, you know, smooth everything over and just be like, you know, we're gonna have a great time. We may not see eye to eye. You know, I apologize if you were upset. Actually, I don't even know if I apologize. It was nothing for even for me to really apologize about. It was just like, you know, let's truce. Let's call it what it is. We've known each other for 15 years. We don't fight and let's make the best of it. Let's move forward because that's my personality. I like, you know, I like to deal with things head on. I like to move forward and I like to have a great time and focus on like the present moment. Anyways, she decided to get an Airbnb and not stay at the condo here in Montana. And she said that, you know, she was going through a lot this past year and dealing with a lot personally and she just has a lot on her mind and wants to spend the time alone and I have to respect that. And that's, that's fine. I mean, I'm gonna respect that. I, it's not how I would approach things. If I, you know, I did take my time and I planned an itinerary for the next week and I came to Montana rather quickly. I do have a uh, esthetician's retreat. My friend Alexa is hosting here in Montana and I'm speaking at that tomorrow, which I'll take you guys along with me. So I have to prep for that. But yeah, this kind of threw me for a loop. And sometimes friendships go through things. And this is a friendship that I've had for a very long time. We worked together in the past many times. I hired her for conventions and she would sell merch. Some of you guys out there even know her as well. And it was a great, you know, we've known each other since high school. It's always been a very business oriented friendship. And of course we would travel, we travel the world and she would join us on our adventures and work. And I think maybe the relationship lacks a little bit of connection and depth, which is something that I strive for in my friendships as I get older and that I am lucky enough to have with many people. It's not that I hold on to friendships forever and I don't let them go. It's just like, I don't go out of my way to cut people out of my life. Like, I, I feel like if you're in my life for a long time, like, I'm here to make it work and work on things. And I don't think I was really given that opportunity to have a conversation, but sometimes you just gotta let things happen and respect where people are feeling and let them, you know, we're adults. They gotta do what they gotta do. and. 
I, I know that I did everything in my power to make sure that this person was comfortable and was feeling okay. And if something were to happen tomorrow, I wouldn't want to have the regret of feeling bad for the way I acted or what I said or how I approached a conversation. But things happen in friendships. So you just got to like take it with stride and decide if it's worth it to continue or call it for what it is before it gets bad and we'll see where it goes. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but sometimes it just happens and life has a funny way of working out. But I'm gonna continue with my week here and have a fabulous week. I have a lot of fun things I have planned. I have the retreat tomorrow, which I'll bring you guys along. And um, I'm just kind of like thrown a little bit. It makes me sad, but I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. It's weird. It's weird all around, I guess. But I want to share that with you because sometimes on the internet, it looks like everything's perfect and life is not perfect. And I've really like, I feel like I share with you guys so much of like the imperfections in my life. And I want to keep it that way because we're friends and we're in this together. Honestly, that's the tea. But yeah, I'm gonna work on some stuff right now. I'm tired, I'm emotional, I'm emotionally drained. And I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, love you. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and I'm all doled up. I'm ready to speak to a bunch of people at the retreat. So it's an esthetician's retreat for learning, social media, beauty. My friend Laura Lee is speaking. My other friend Candace is speaking. Sunday Riley was kind enough to send a bunch of product for the guests, but I haven't like publicly spoken in forever and I enjoy public speaking, but I feel like I'm my own worst critique sometimes. And I'm like, oh, I, who am I? I'm just like, I'm just Daniel. I'm just Daniel, I'm nobody special. I need to give myself a little more credit. I'm a confident person, but I also just don't think, I don't regard myself that highly in terms of successes because I'm kind of just like, I do what I enjoy. It's not like I'm, I don't know. Do you guys know what I mean? I just feel like, um, I know I have a lot to say and a lot of advice to give, but I think I'm just, I'm just a humble boy. I'm just a humble boy. No, but I think I just prefer talking to you guys here because it's so, one-on-one. -on -one. I hate standing up and like feeling like I'm preaching to people and making it seem like I have my shit together and that I'm perfect and that I've done all this cool stuff, which I'm not perfect, obviously. I'm a mess, just like you guys are. <laughs> but that's the point, not to take everything so seriously. Gotta have a balance, you know? But I think I'll take you guys along. We'll see if I can film during or have some clips filmed for me. Hey guys, it's the next day. The event went gorgeous. I was actually kind of a little nervous during, cause I was like for the first presenter of the weekend, but it went really, really well. I had a great conversation with the gals. We talked about social media, we talked about beauty. We talked about Sunday Riley. We talked honestly about a lot. And we had some great conversations about like keeping it real on social media and not taking anything too seriously, which is something that I'm still learning. Opening up to people, connecting, which I like that we do here. I'm at Lake McDonald right now in Glacier. So let's go paddle boarding. Look at that view. Lake McDonald never fails to impress me. Gorgeous. All these cars are coming from the top of the glacier over there. That's where a lot of the hikes are. But look at that drive. There's construction going on right now again. So my first time coming here, I think I was like eight maybe. My mom and I went on a road trip. I used to road trip with my mom all the time. That's probably one of the reasons why I love road trips and driving and traveling so much because she instilled that in me as a kid. She didn't buy me a lot of stuff. I always had what I needed, but she always instilled travel being very important and learning new cultures and places and trying new foods, which I'm very grateful for because I have a lot of friends who I went to high school with that like never left town, which is fine. If that's your tea, that's your tea. I get it. I totally understand it. I know I'm coming from a place where I'm financially able to, but <laughs> girl, even when I was broke, I had 10 bucks in my bank account, I was traveling. Maybe not as gorgeously as I do now, even though I still, I'm still pretty. The way I travel is not very glamorous, like mostly road trips and I, you know, I'm, I'm able to travel internationally, but I also save up to do it. So you guys can do it too. Just whatever you're comfortable with. Road trips are a great place to start. But yeah, Lake McDonald's really special. It's beautiful. I have so many great memories here. I have a lot of friends that have come out and visited, spent a lot of time here with friends in Montana who live here. Glacier National Park should definitely be on your list to travel to. My favorite times to come here are probably like mid to 
end of September, beginning of October. Crowds have died down, it's not as intense, prices are cheaper for flying and staying anywhere. That's called the shoulder season here. Summer can be a lot, but it is beautiful. However, summer brings the wildfires and wildfires are no fun to deal with. It's a little hazy as you can see from some of the smoke from Canada in the distance. See that? Those are all glaciers. All the ones in the distance. But yeah, it is Monday now. I actually still haven't heard from my friend. I'm kind of giving her her, sp her space. I've known her since I was 12 years old, so this has never happened before with anybody in my life. Definitely not anybody I've known for that long, so I have to assume that something's going on. I'm gonna reach out to her tomorrow because she leaves on Wednesday. That was my whole plan to come out here, to be here during this week for her to travel to. I did have the retreat, but I could have done that virtually and stayed in LA because I had a lot of stuff to do, but I'm gonna reach out. I want to make sure she's okay. Hopefully she is, but sometimes you got to give people their space as I've mentioned before and that's okay. It's a lovely evening. I hope you guys are having a great evening too. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is how Wolfie hikes. This is how Storm hikes. Guys, it's the next day. We're on a hike because it's Wolfie's ninth birthday. Hey, show everybody your cute little face. I got you nine years ago. Look at that view. Gorgeous. This view ain't so bad either. I have my camel pack right here and we have like six Six mile hike, so pretty. My little like cowboy hiking sun hat, shielding me from the heat, but yeah. Nine years ago, I found Wolfie in an alley when I was interning in Los Angeles. I found him in downtown LA. I was running some errands for a boss, and this person was selling them for like a hundred bucks or something. <sighs> Melted my heart, and that was the same week that I met my ex. And he had always wanted a Husky. So the next day, I stayed in contact. I'm like, okay, if you guys don't sell them by tomorrow, I want them. I'm like, I'll take them either way, even though I was sleeping on an arrow bed in a room that I was renting in a house that wasn't mine. We went back the next day, got them together, and that was history. He's in his golden years now, which is crazy. He's more active than he's honestly ever been. He's happier than he's ever been. And he acts like a puppy. I see him slowing down quite a bit and he gets a little more depressed if he's not outdoors, but he's still very playful. He does great with Storm. Storm just turned eight. No, Storm turns eight in October. So they have a year, they're a year apart. But yeah, he's the best dog. I just like love taking him here. I've taken him here in the winter. He loves it. And I took him here now and he's been just like hiking and swimming by the river with me. He's the best. And him and Storm do so well together. But with other dogs, they're, they're very friendly, but he doesn't do well around puppies, so he doesn't do well with, you know, staying at my ex's, staying at Joey's, which is fine. I take him as much as I can, but I have a pretty small house, so having Storm and Wolf and Monty in my house is not really feasible. It's a lot. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the hike. Update. I'm sweaty. Got the bear spray. 76 minutes. 2.63 miles all uphill. I'm tired. Boys! There. He's like, I'm not coming just so you can see me on camera, but it is gorgeous. These are the ski trails during the winter. We haven't run into any wildlife, thankfully. I got my bear bell on that you guys can hear. Look at all these little trees. How cute are these? They're so cute. I was going to show you guys the summit. I'm a little past the summit now, uh, which is normally the ski house. This is the top of Whitefish Mountain where I have my ski pass. So there's like a restaurant up there, but I climb up the last part of the mountain and Storm and Wolf were ahead of me and there was a fucking wedding going on. So Storm and Wolf literally walked down the aisle trying to get through and during like the bridesmaids and uh, best men walking down. And here's a clip of that all happening. Wolfie just walked by the bride, it was so funny. you make an awfully handsome groom and Storm is the bride. Somebody was yelling at us and I almost like mouthed off to them. Hello, we're in the top of a mountain and you guys are getting thousands of dollars for this. Put up some signs or something, it's so pretty. Uh, some people. Is the lake continued and this is the new chair lift that they built this past year. This goes all the way to the summit, which is great. These views, you can see all the way into Glacier, all the way into town. Clocking in at 5.4 miles, 1100 calories, 2 hours and 38 minutes, and some two very tired boys. We're gonna go jump in the lake. Well, I am. And then I'm gonna go meet a few friends for dinner. So let's go. Thirsty. I always put their water bowl. 
in the shower, if it's a shower like this, which I hate these showers because it's like a half door and your butt is always cold. In this case, yeah, your butt's always cold. Get out of there, Sean. There I am. Do you love this little travel case I got? It was $10 at the antique shop. This is what they used to put like cosmetics in. This is my makeup, my toothbrush, hair products, toothpaste, fragrances, all my skin stuff. It's so cute. But yeah, this place is like boulder themed, rock climbing, outdoorsy themed. They, I don't know what this is. I feel like this is for some sort of bouldering material. Backpack, shoes or something. Some liquid death, so it has the zoomies. This is the room, super cute. Outside has this little patio. I let them out here. Yeah, you guys can go out here. But they're like very short, not a lot of privacy. There's some cute boys over there. And that's Salt Lake, so it's a little bit out of the city, which is nice. Not out, but it's like not in the busy part. So I just got to my hotel in Salt Lake City. It's my first stop. I just started driving this morning. Drove nine and a half hours and tomorrow was 10 hours back to LA, which I'm very excited to be home. I have a really, really crazy two weeks ahead of me before I go to Europe. So I'm looking forward to getting home and just being home, you know? But yeah, I'm staying at the Evo Hotel in Salt Lake City. They're dog friendly, they're very outdoorsy, but it's adorable. It's a really cute. The room was like 150, I think. It was a $25 pet deposit per pet, which is kind of annoying, but worth it, super cute. All right, so the place is super cute. I didn't close up the vlog last night. I just kind of passed out. I was actually talking to a boy for a minute and then I passed out on him. But this morning I got coffee and croissants, actually breakfast and then coffee and croissants again with my good friend. Emily! Hi girlish! Hey. So Emily and I went to college together. I'm not giving my college a shout out because they're rotten and haven't put me on the alumni board even though I'm extremely rich and famous and that's very rude. Kidding. But no, we went to <laughs> together. Ooh, blurp that out. No, <laughs> leave it out. Um, we, we went to college together in Boston and Emily was actually, you were one of my first friends. Right? You were. I'm sure. She was, and then I introduced her to my friend group, and then I went on an internship sabbatical for a semester, and they all stole her from me. No. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm confusing you with Tyler Brace. Yeah. <laughs> you never, you never left me. No. But, yeah, I haven't seen you in how long? Oh, uh, 45 years maybe. About 45 years. Well, we're both 16, so yeah. that's impossible. <laughs> But yeah, SLC is cute. There's a lot of cute boys. It's a little earthy crunchy. A lot of a lot of weird, weird boys. Depends what you're into. A flavor, into every it. flavor. Two phones. <laughs> <It's bursting. laughs> All right, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to show this video some love. Please interact with it, like it, drop a comment down below. I know there was a lot going on, but hopefully you guys enjoyed a week in my life. All right, I'll see you guys later. Love you so much, bye. Oh wait, make sure to leave things better than how you found them, bitch.